On a Synology router, there are two reset options. A soft reset, which allows you to reset your administrator's login credentials, and a hard reset, which will wipe all router settings and reinstall Synology Router Manager. So in this video, we're going to demonstrate how you perform a soft reset. As a soft reset, we'll simply create a new administrator's account on our router. We can use a soft reset to gain access to our router settings if we've forgotten our administrator's credentials. On the back of our router, if we locate the reset switch, as the reset switch is recessed, we're going to need to use some sort of reset tool, for example, a pin or paper clip. If we now gently press and hold down the reset button for four seconds, when we release the reset button, the indicator lights on our router do not change unless we're using an MR2200 AC where the status light starts to flash blue. Instead, as a soft reset has not wiped any settings on our router and our computer is still wirelessly connected to the internet, if we open a web browser and according to Synology type router.synology.com, we should see the configuration wizard. However, if like us you do not see the configuration wizard for your router, simply enter the IP address for your router into your web browser in order to be presented with the password reset page. We can now either enter an existing administrator's username and assign that account with a new password, or create a new administrator's username and password. For this example, we will be creating a new administrator's username and password. However, as Synology disabled the ability to use the word administrator in an administrator's account, when creating a new administrator's account, we need to avoid using just the word administrator or admin. After selecting Submit, we're informed that we're no longer authorized to use the Reset Password service. Let's select OK to allow our router to display its sign-in page. We can now use the new administrator's account we just created, or sign in using the newly reset password to an existing administrator's account. Having successfully signed into our router, we now need to tidy the administrator's accounts that we've created. If we select Control Panel and choose Users from the sidebar, as you can see, we have the administrator's account we just created, along with the default admin account created by our router and the original administrator's account we forgot the details for. While both the admin and our original system admin account have been deactivated, it's a good idea to tidy up our user accounts. So while we forgot the name of our original admin account, because we want to continue to use it, we're going to reactivate the system admin account and then delete the router admin account we just created. If we select our system admin account and then choose Edit, under the heading Info, we have the option Deactivate this account. Let's reactivate this account by removing the tick and selecting OK. If we now reset the password to our original administrator's account, when we choose Apply, we will have two active administrator's accounts on our router. Let's sign out of the router admin account and sign into the original system admin account we just reactivated. If we now open control panel and return to users, as we should not have more than one administrator's account active on our router, we're going to delete the router admin account we created when we performed a soft reset. With the account that we wish to delete highlighted, by selecting the bin icon, we're asked to confirm that we wish to delete the highlighted user. When we select delete, the account is removed from our router. We've now completed a soft reset with our original system admin account, the default administrator's account to our router.